Oh, that'll be close. I like it. Mark Wall says leg side. No, the umpire says out. My hometown, Morwell, about an hour and a half east of Melbourne. The local area is sort of called Latrobe Valley, which is a small group of country towns inside of Gippsland, which is sort of the broader, the broader area down there. Grew up there, left there when I was 18, but yeah, all my childhood, my sport, everything down there, that's where it all started. Parents still live down there, my brother still lives down there in Morwell. Parents still in the same house that I grew up in, so it's obviously yeah, a very special place. Very happy yeah, to, have, to have grown up down there. He always had a dream that he was going to play cricket for Australia and get the baggy green. In the air, civil catch. I think like most Victorians especially, you have Christmas and then it's the Boxing Day test. Oh, he's had a go at it and it's over the top, but listen to the roar. We'd watch the cricket on the TV, playing with our presents from the day before. And then, yeah, during like lunch and, and, and tea break, you usually get out in the backyard and have a little hit ourselves and play around with Dad and, and Mum would come out and help out as well. They were the early days and I think that's where, we, that's where it started. I think like most kids, it starts in the backyard and playing with your parents or your brothers and sisters. Cricket was huge in our backyard. It was a, we used to have our own Boxing Day tests and they'd always be Brian Lara or they'd have to pick a name of who they wanted to be and they'd get out there and they'd bat for hours. The sort of club legend was Anthony Bloomfield. He was a, a gun batter, very handy bowler, always performing every weekend. So he was one of the guys that you sort of you always watched. You know, you, if I wasn't playing you, as a young kid, you'd, get, you'd go watch the first team play, and, and he'd be making runs or or taking wickets. He was always one that stood out. He helped out around junior trainings and stuff like that. Pete was always around the club. I think that's probably one thing that we sort of noticed a little bit with him was that he just loved loved the game and he loved being down here. He certainly wouldn't miss a training session and there were times when, as the senior coach, I'd have to go in and pick sides and do anything like that, but Pete would be one of those kids that would always be asking for, for additional help and I guess it's one of those things, the squeaky wheel gets the oil and, and Pete was one of those kids that just wanted to get as much knowledge as he could about the game and he was one that sort of asked questions and probably got the attention at the end of the day because of that. I think those early years were just amazing. Being able to spend time around, obviously, your mates playing the junior stuff, but like any young kid, you want to you mingle with the senior guys and play senior cricket as a, as a young fella. And yeah, I think those, those, those times were probably the best development times for me, not, not the junior cricket. That was the fun side of it, but the opportunities that I had as a young fella joining in with the senior men and, and playing with those guys, um, I learned a lot throughout those years. A few years ago, they, the main oval ended up getting um, named after me. So, um, yeah, it was, it was good to get back for the, um, that presentation. And, um, and yeah, it was obviously, yeah, it's, it's probably a bit of a proud moment, really, because that's the junior club. That's where it all started. And, uh, um, yeah, to now that have the oval named after me, it's, um, yeah, quite special. I think it's slowly sunk into him. He said he's in awe of it now because that doesn't happen very often. And it's a singular honour, really. So he's pretty stoked about it. There certainly is a, quite a few junior players that certainly do look up to Pete. And I know, you know, I've got a young bloke playing myself and I remember when, when the ground was named after Pete, there's a photo in the uh, Latrobe Valley Express where Pete was walking out in the ground with Jacob and just the look on Jacob's face to be walking next to an Australian Test cricketer was, um, was something that you just will never forget. One of the things I think that's increased the exposure, I guess, to, to seeing, our, um, seeing our star cricketers is his journey with the Big Bash. And it's, it's interesting how when he plays at a certain club, kids tend to follow. So I know here, 
while the strikers might not be the number one side, a lot of the young kids, they'll certainly, their number two side is they want to watch how the strikers are going and in particular, they just want to see how Pete's going because they do um, hold it pretty close to their heart with watching him do well. Nick's got him! Big edge! Settle!